aku nui, e aku rahi, e aku pari ka rangatanga maho o te kainga, tēnei ka mehi. Kia ora e te whānau, ko manik maihi pihima ahau. Nō ku te whiwhi, ki te noho ki te noho hei kānohi mo tēnei whakāturanga e mata pakihia ana i ngā kaupapa nui o ngā te whātua o rākei. Nō reira, nau mai e te whānau, nau mai ki tēnei hui a topa. E koana te ngākau ki te kite i ngā tini whānau kua hono mai i tēnei pō. Welcome everyone, welcome to this whānau update webinar. <clears throat> I have the pleasure tonight to be joined by two of our Trust Board members. Ko te mā reikora o te puare, tēnā koe mārama royal. Kia ora, kia ora whānau. E te manu taiko o te puare, e Ngārimi Blair, the Deputy Chair, tēnā koe. Kia ora, tēnā koutou i Ngauri. The overarching kaupapa of tonight's kōrero focuses on mana tāmaki, and we're really... Um, really excited to be talking about these relevant kaupapa, um, not only to, that are relevant to our board, but relevant to our whānau. And um, we've seen that there's been a lot of interest, um, a lot of interest from our whānau to be able to learn more about these kaupapa. And actually you have been a part of, of a few of those kaupapa, so it's really important that we're here tonight um, to share this kōrero. The agenda for the night is, oh, actually, before we do that whānau, aroha mai. We've, I just wanted to let you know that we've also got um, Natasha, Natasha uh, Strong, our general counsel online. So if you have any partai, please send those partai through and we'll endeavour to answer your questions. And if any of those questions are relevant to our corridor tonight, we'll, we'll bring them into the discussion. So um, send it through those partai whānau. So the agenda tonight is as follows. Our um, kaupapa matua tonight, we will be talking about Marutuahu, uh, West Haven, Anglican Church, and Ngā Mahi o Naianei. And we really look forward to um, sharing this kōrero with you. So let's get into it. So uh, my first question is for you, Marama. Uh, what is mana tāmaki? And please explain what that means um, for our whānau. Kia ora, kia ora Monique, and uh, kia ora Roy Te whanau. So mana tāmaki is a strategy that the Trust um, developed a few years ago, and it was around protecting our settlement and also um, what we call our heartland. Um, as you know, um, this board and previous boards um, have always had uh, the have had to have strategies around how to protect our settlement or our land. Um, and this goes back many, many years. Um, but what we've done is, is we've brought it into what we call mana tamaki, uh, and it brings in all of those, um, all of those resources and those tools that we, that we can use in order to protect uh, our whenua. Uh, we have a settlement protection committee that uh, Nga chairs on behalf of the board. Um, and through that, uh, there is a lot of mahi done. But also, we have our kaumātua taumata, who um, are our great advisors and our kaitiaki of our tikanga when we are, uh, when we are um, out there doing the manatamaki um, mahi. Um, and also our whānau, who are out there nearly every day. Um, it's been quite busy, hasn't it? Um, but it's about doing things and, and putting our footprint uh, and our mana into the um, places within the Auckland central area. Mm. And I guess that's um, an important kaupapa to Ngārimu was to share with the whānau the history um, around, around our rohe. Yeah, um, it's, it's very important and the Trust um, is putting a lot of resources into that on the, uh, from the feedback of whānau from the last strategy engagement we had around cultural identity being the most important thing and I, I couldn't agree anymore. So in terms of mana tāmaki, um, we need to remind ourselves what, 
what that actually means. And, and it's, it's essentially Norway the mana of te and who has uh, the mana of this area. Um, and we unequivocally say it's us, there's no Iwa Tupiriri. Uh, and over many generations, there are lots of people who challenge that um, on a daily uh, basis, as, mm. as we all know. Mm. Um, and we know because this place is so so awesome and so beautiful. So we need to remind how we got here, remind ourselves how we got here. Um, you know, 1740 ish, um, there was some killings at Waituro near Helensville, near um, Parakai Hot Pools, if people know sort of where that area is, Kaipataki is the proper name. Uh, Tumupakehi being killed there uh, by the then uh, proprietors and uh, uh, tenants of landlords of, of Tamaki then. Um, and Kiwi Tamaki uh, killing a number of people, our chiefs, our Tatau chiefs there, uh, which led to um, Wahakaki and Waitaheke, who's um, Tupiriri's half brother, uh, leading a garrison uh, to us to get their ngaki to um, avenge those deaths. Uh, which led to the big battle at Paruroa, Big Muddy Creek, Niho Tupu, uh, where Kiwi Tamaki, the, um, the paramount chief of Waiuhua, uh, was killed by uh, Wahakiaki. Well, they went back to Kaipara, um, and then over a period of months, and possibly even years, it was um, finally Tupiriri who um, gathered uh, Waira Tatau and also other Ngāti Whātua um, to um, uh, avenge, really, his, the deaths of his sister Tahatahi, who was killed. Uh, near way to, to water at Nimi Hanui. Um, and so Tupiriri led the, the, uh, the final battles um, to really to take the mana of Tāmaki uh, from them. So the final battle, as we um, know, was at Te Arapuere, Mount Mangere, which Tupiriri led. led. Um, and instead of going back to Kaipara, Tupiriri stayed in Tāmaki. Uh, he took over the major pass of Mangakiake. Um, and lived there with Kuraroa um, and also Hine Te Wairoa um, and their sons, a couple of their sons married uh, our Ngāti Te Ata uh, uh, relations, Te Horeta's girls, um, Mokorua uh, and Te Tahuri um, and that's us as well, that's all of us uh, mostly at, at Urake today um, and then um, set up camp there and then uh, the kids, Tupiriri's children and their wives then occupied all of the coastal sites along here uh, where we are today. It's Tuangaroa Beach Road, uh, the CBD, uh, villages at Waipapa, at Te Tō, at Vic Park, Te Rehu over by the zoo, uh, Unehunga, major camp there. Um, and since uh, the mid-1700s, we have been living and fishing, um, gardening, um, and we are still doing it today. Mm. Um, and we have never left. Um, we are still here. So that's what we're protecting. Uh, our right uh, is the mana, um, who hold the mana here in Tāmaki, central Auckland, um, and mana Tāmaki is about um, protecting that, because um, it is our right and it's our duty also, as, as any of Tupiriri, um, to protect that so that we um, can exist forever and ever as an of Tupiriri, as an Aotearoa Tōrāke. Mm, kia ora. And I guess um, he pai te kōrero uh, katū te pau wha kairo ki te waitamata mm. in ko tātou te ra. Mm. And um, that's us. And so that was thanking our for that um, kōrero. And I'm sure probably a lot of whānau online that have connected up, um, it may have been their first time hearing that, um, that kōrero in depth. So hopefully in the future we can uh, wānanga more with the whānau and just so that you can understand um, our history and collectively uh, we can, you know, stand proud and stand proud on our rohe. <coughs> Ka pai. Okay, well, um, let's move on to our next kaupapa, uh, which is an important kaupapa, a kaupapa that um, a lot of you may have been a part of, um, and that is um, the Maru Tuahu um, Hairinga and also the Pōwhiri that we held um, up at Orake Marae, uh, where we had a great turnout at both events and um, I think, you know, we really appreciated um, everyone attending and supporting the kaupapa because, you know, we're all really passionate about our whenua. Um, so let's, let's start, let's um, just remind the whānau and um, if you can please explain nga, um, what brought us to that, to that stage of going down to... Sure. Like all of these things, we have to go back a little bit further. Um, so, um, Fano may remember uh, in the early 2000s, we were negotiating our own treaty settlement 
Um, there were cross claims. Uh, there are you know over a dozen cross claims uh, here saying that um, if it wasn't Ngāti Whātua Rākei who had the mana here, it was a iwi, uh, iwi ke, mm. uh, a number of them. Um, and so our claim got stopped in 2006 by the Crown and uh, after following a uh, Waitangi Tribunal process hearing and Judge Kerry Rain, Wayne wrote, um, said a few things in there which um, uh, really changed uh, Crown policy uh, since that time in the mid-2000s. Uh, things like, you know, Auckland's so complex, there's lots of layer, layers of, of interest, uh, people coming and going, they're all, all uh, layers are equal. Um, what was the, the impact of that? And really the Crown stopped our, our settlement um, and then ran with this sort of line around all, all layers are equal. Um, and uh, that's happened right through the country, so different iwi have really picked up on that and um, used that. Um, you know, so what we've seen over the last 10 years across the country um, and in wider, wider Auckland is iwi who, um, whose fires would have uh, went out long ago, well before the treaty was signed, well before Pākehā came, um, or um, they just are demonstrating an interest, you know, where they may, they may have fished, where they may have passed through, where they may have had a battle. Um, you know, and I say, uh, again, uh, often well before 1840 and well before the, the treaty. So um, we, um, we progressed with our, our settlement. We, we, we landed that in 2012, uh, but we also um, raised concerns with the Crown that we, did, um, we would be unhappy if they were going to use land within our um, heartland, mm. um, and our heartland being, you know, central Auckland, um, as, uh, as settlement for individual uh, individual claims and individual iwi uh, settlements. So in about 2015, uh, we became aware um, from the Crown that they were, uh, had agreed with Maru Tuahu. Uh, and Maru Tuahu are a collective of five iwi, Ngāti Tama Te Rā, Ngāti Kiri Kiri, uh, Ngāti Maru, Ngāti Whanaunga and Ngāti Pāwa. Um, the had, Crown had agreed to transfer um, Tauradua. Now, Tauradua is not far from where we're sitting here. Uh, we can see it from Orake, <laughs> from our, our pa there. Uh, it's by the Pāneo Paths and uh, mm. Judges, uh, Judges Bay. Mm. Um, and so uh, we had go already gone through a process around sharing Maunga, sharing the regional rights of first refusal, um, which goes all the way down to Port, Port Waikato. Uh, but this was a, a Another rap that we didn't want to swallow, which was um, giving individual iwi land in our heartland to settle their apparent grievance um, without our agreement. And uh, that's when we said, um, that's enough. And we um, yeah, started, uh, we tried to negotiate with um, the minister then, uh, from Mason, tried to engage with uh, people from Maru Tuahu, but uh, we ended up um, uh, being able to reach any kind of agreement. And our last recourse, uh, you know, as a last resort, was uh, heading to court. Okay. <clears throat> Ka pai. And um, marama, I guess, what uh, we had a lot of our whānau, you know, show up and um, mm. what, what's your whakaro around their support? <clears throat> oh, look, you know, um, as Nga has, you know, explained it really, really well around the challenges that we as Ngāti Whātua Rāke have faced and are still facing with um, other iwi who, who claim to have interests or rights, you know, here in Tamaki. Um, when the karanga went out and the widow went out to our whānau to come and to um, totoko, the kaupapa of having an iwi to iwi um, kōrero around this, um, our whānau um, I, I would just, I was so proud and just so humbled uh, with our whānau and how they took up their challenge and, uh, and they came in force. When we went down to Waikawa, uh, Marae down in Thames, um, there was 150 of us that went and we stood proud as Ngāti Whātua Rākei but also acknowledged uh, that we had gone down to their marae down at Waikawa. And then of course, we the second hui was at our marae. And again, we came out in force uh, to welcome them onto our Turanga Waiwai, onto our marae. 
uh, um, and to also um, put the wero out that they needed to bring their their kōrero, um their history to us, so that we could understand uh, their fakaro. Um, and you know the, the way that our whānau stood from our kaikaranga or aroha mai, our kaiwero, to our kaikaranga, to our hakapuri, to our kaikorero, our kaumatua, our rangatahi, our tamari. Oh, it was just, it was an amazing day. Um, even though the kaupapa was very kaumaha, it was an amazing day for Ngāti Whātou Rāke because it showed how strong we are as a people. And um, whether you like us or not, on that day, it didn't matter. Um, we were proud. We were proud to be Ngāti Whātou Orake. We were proud to be Ngāuri o Tupuriri because it was all, it's all about the kōrero that Ngās has spoken about, about us protecting that. And it's our right to do that. And uh, we sh to me, we absolutely nailed it that day. Um, we don't want to say, you know, no, the Kumara never talks how sweet it is, but I'm going to say it. We were absolutely awesome. And um, <clears throat> that, that will go down as part of our history. And I'm just so, so very proud of it. Kaupai. And I guess I would also like to take this time to acknowledge um, all the whānau that did a lot of the background mahi because there was a lot of um, prep behind it. We had wānanga, we um, learned waiata, we did hakapōwhiri practice, our kaikōrero, our kaikaranga, we all got together. Um, and then wrapping it up, I guess, at the end with our um, beautiful kai by our ringawera and, and by our marae. And, um, yeah, Aye, it, was, it was an amazing, amazing hui. I suppose just before we do, we close off on this, I really would like um, just to say to Fano that, you know, uh, you know uh, sadly, um, uh, the outcome that we wanted didn't happen. Uh, but that doesn't take away um, what we did. And I do want to get Nga's comments um, on that because, um, you know, uh, I'm sure, you know, he was, you know, as proud as I was, but um, the outcome wasn't what we what, what, what wasn't what we got, and that was to try and negotiate something with Maru Tuahu. We gave them the opportunity twice, but Aroha Mai that didn't happen. So, um, you know, we are moving into the court. Mm. Um, we tried to use our tikanga based practices to try and resolve it, but it, yeah. So uh, now, I'll just be yeah, I, um. It's probably important to point out, uh, 2017 van load uh, of Kaumatua, we went down to Ngāti Paua Marae at Ngāti Paua's invitation to meet with all the Māori Tuahu, they were all invited in 2017. Uh, Kaumatua went down, we went down, Maitarangi joined us as well, because as we know, our Whanau and Maitarangi are having issues with the same, same people. Um, and um, only Ngāti Paua turned up uh, to call it to us, the rest of Māori Tuahu did not. So it was really awesome to be able to finally um, have these kāmahiki to kāmahi kōrero um, with those uh, representatives, uh, with their people hearing the hearing the karanga, hearing the karakias and hearing the whai kōrero. The whole point, I, I think, was a triumph of, mm. of our tikanga on the ātia, um, where we laid all of our whakapapa, all of uh, our, our tohu uh, whenua, uh, our connections. We were naming people, we were naming villages, uh, we were naming food that we grew and ate, you know, um, very detailed. And the opportunity was there for the, uh, the other side who were claiming it to hear. Um, we wanted, generally wanted to hear what their core level was. And, and to be honest, uh, I think all the whānau uh, would agree who were there. Um, they didn't, we didn't really hear it. Um, and that's because there isn't really a lot of core level to be had from their mm. side. And we know that, and that was confirmed. So it was unfortunately... Um, uh, didn't get agreement from them about um, trying to find some kind of arrangement uh, with us. Um, and so, uh, as I say, we, we do need to move on um, and move to the, the court process, which is our uh, really our last resort. Mm. And so that court process is coming up um, and we're hoping to have, have whānau uh, support. And what's your whakaroa around that? 
Yeah, found out no my my you know, uh, for those of you that uh, travelled with us to Wellington when we went down to the Supreme Court hearing, uh, you know, again, that was another massive, triumphant um, haringa. And so, yeah, we want the same in, uh, in February. So we will, we will continue to pānui, to pānau, and give them, you know, updates of where that, where that will be at. Um, you know, we've had our our um, historians, our, our cultural um, experts around tikanga, doing our evidence, Nga has been very heavily involved in it, um, as has, uh, you know, some of our um, uh, previous trust board members, Margaret Kāwhiru, and so um, this is this is big whānau, and we want we want you to be there. We want you to listen, to hear the kōrero, um and just come and be who we are, you know, Ngāti Whātua Rāke Tūturu. Kia ora. Ora na he koi be awesome. Okay, Aye. let's go on. Um, we'll move on to the next, next kai whapa. Okay, well, uh, tēnā kōrua. Um, we hope that that's um, answered um, your pātai whānau and any, um, any whakaaro uh, that you, you have. Um, please send through, through any questions um, and we'll endeavour to, to answer them as we go along. Uh, we're going to move now on to our next kaupapa, which is West Haven. Um, so, Ngārimu, can you sh um, share with the whānau what West Haven was about? Yeah, um, so West Haven Marina um, is, we've, we've been pushing a kaupapa um, there, uh, probably again going back. <laughs> For the advent of the super city, it's 10 mm. years now. Wow. Um, you know, previously we had a pretty strong, very strong relationship with Auckland Council, Auckland City Council. We've got the Ngāti Whātua Room and the Town Hall, Tamea, 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 the Reserves Board. Uh, very strong relationship. With the advent of the, the super city, which broadened out those boundaries, um, the super city took on a different um, uh, kaupapa, which was they, they opened the gates and they opened the doors to to um, well any iwi really that said that they were from Tāmaki um, and so consequently when we uh, and our kaimahi um, turn up to Hui's whether it's about the um, central wa railway link whether it's about a new motorway and, and central motorway junction or something on Karanahapia Road um, we are often well Wodaki is doing a big new pipe um, you know it all domain often our, we, we're turning up and we're we're confronted with a dozen, 15, sometimes 19 other iwi um, there. And, um, you know, we uh, have issues with that. Uh, we've been saying uh, not iwi, not all iwi should be in the room. And even if um, we do acknowledge, you know, the histories of other iwi, particularly our way for the moment, I mean, we're all way mm -hmm. as well, um, that um, at the end of the day, in the central area, Ngāti Whātua's view should count the most mm. um, because of that history that I, I laid out before. Um, and so, and we, you know, we practice our tikanga. We don't go down to Māngere, even though we probably, you know, we could through our whakapapa. Yeah. <coughs> it's out of Pūrere, mm. um, whānau mai a pihaiki mm. uh, We don't go down to Monaco City. Uh, we don't cross the river and go down to um, Pakuranga, uh, et cetera, et cetera, or, or cleaved it. Um, so it's very frustrating. Mm. Uh, the council will not listen to us. They just say, look, it's not a, an issue for council. They can't work out who mana whenua is. Mana whenua just have, iwi just have to work that out themselves. And as we said, we've been trying to have hui. We've had um, uh, tikanga hui on the marae, and, and we, we, we just can't agree. We're not getting there. Um, one of the key things the council has been saying, they don't have to determine who has the strongest cultural relationship uh, through the Resource Management Act process. And we uh, took a case through West Haven Marina, which was being extended, uh, again, 19 people turn up um, and we say, Kei te he. Um, and we said to council, you must determine who has the strongest cultural relationship. Everyone must lay their whakapapa, their kōrero, hūrākau, um, and that must be weighed and determined as to who should be in the room. Um, and to me, to me, to me. So um, what we ended up going uh, doing was going to picking this case in particular. Um, uh, and say, and taking it to the Environment Court. Uh, eventually, it went to the High Court um, to say that the council, you can't just throw your hands up in the air. You can't just kick this for touch. 
and say we don't know how to do it. The uh, High Court has agreed with us that the Council must face the complexity of this um, decision and work it out. They have to work it out with uh, Pākehā residents who are uh, in conflict, they have to work out complex ecological matters, they have to work out complex um, design engineering issues, they actually can't kick this to touch. So that really means that um, uh, if we turn up to a project now uh, with this High Court decision that we have, um, we can um, really challenge the other iwi and it can go to a hearing, they actually have to front up with kōrero, our kamohi, our pepa, and um, the hearings commissioners, eventually judges, if it, if it has to go to court, then have to make a decision based on the kōrero, based on the kūrāko, and we're very confident as Ngāti Whātōrāke, as we get Tupiniti, and all of our kōrero, um, and we believe, um, you know, we believe that the council um, should change their policy, we want to work with them on that, um, to uh, have us in the prime position, which we are, is the kaitiaki of, of this um, of this law here. Um, you know, to basically, have, our views should should matter more than you know than others who are driving two mm. hours to these meetings. Some of them, you know, they come from a long way away. You know, we're catching, um, you know, uh, riding uh, bikes or mm. two stage buses or one, we're walking to the, our, our hui from our, our offices mm. and our, and our papa kainga. It just doesn't make sense. Mm. And um, do you have anything to add to that, Marama, uh, about West Haven? Um, only that, only that, you know, um, it just shows the mahi uh, that our whānau, um, that our whānau are doing, again, to protect mm. our heartland um, and, and the battles that we have to have. But, you know, to get a decision like that through the Environment Court, to have it appealed and then to get it again in the High Court, just shows um, the mana that we have as a people and that people are finally starting to mm. fuck it all more. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and listen. But the battle's not over, Pana. We still, you know, we've got to keep going. Yeah. And I guess what, um, now, are you the chair on the Mana Whenua Kaitaki? Tom? Yeah. And what, what is that? Yep. So. There's so many different forums in this new super city. Mm. So we, most people are probably aware of this uh, IMSB, Independent Mana mm. Statutory Board. I mean, most 15,000 of us marched up Queen Street um, you know, at the beginning of the super city. We were marching for two seats um, to be, you know, democratically elected by um, by the Maori people. Mm. Um, you know, we would have we would push forward good people. We ended up mm. with the Independent Maori Statutory Board. We are participating on that. Um, much of it really is to keep an eye on things as yeah. much as we can. Um, there's so many different kaupapa, so we do, we've do. we had representation on that from the start um, and continue to do so. Um, Council has about 60 different forums um, mm. you know, for a park development, for a motorway development, for reserve management, it, it, yeah. and, and the other iwi, they, they all turn up, mm. they all turn up to them. So it's really hard for, for us to um, resource that and, um, and turn up to ensure that um, as best we can uh, to have a presence of, of our people. Um, so then you have the CCOs, Water Care, they have their own forum, then you've got uh, Pānuku, Development Off of it, their forum, and AT have forums. Um, and so there's also the Mana Whenua Kaitiaki Forum, which is one where um, all the tribes have agreed to come together um, and uh, here, kaupapa that the city has are of a very of a regional nature, that mm. are region shaping. Um, and so, yeah, I've been the co-chair of that for a couple of years now, um, and which uh, got voted uh, on, yeah, I think 2018. Um, and why that that forum has shifted um, over the last couple of years has been to talk about things like um, Auckland transport, like how are we going to move across the city. Um, ensure that everyone has access mm. to, to equitable, uh, safe uh, public transport, mm. climate change, to me, to me, to me. So that's kind of uh, the key focus of that forum is really about um, regional issues. Um, again, um, it's very tough uh, mm. environment. All of our people going into all of these different environments, confronting different different iwi who are all, um, you know, they all want <laughs> they all want this bit. Yeah. Um, mm. Yeah, so it is, it is a challenging environment for, for all of our people mm. out there, right from the, our coast going to Karakia, uh, through our kaimahi and Whaimamaya, and then yeah, yeah. at the Marae. Yeah, and I guess that's what it, it takes. It takes um, a lot of us 
whānau, you know, to be out there front facing and front footing all of these various kaupapa, um, even through to our uh, kai toi. Um, you know, they're putting our po throughout the whenua um, and it's, it's an important piece of mahi that we're all doing. So, yeah, uh, just, mahi. just add to that, so we have got the, um, the emphasis on cultural identity uh, through whaumaua and whaumaua mm -hmm. doing some great uh, things in there. Through the litigation preparation over the last couple of years, you know, we've really been able to condense uh, and understand with a lot more clarity about, uh, about the raupatu, about our ahika, um, and who the relationships are between Kawara, between Ngāti Tata and Ngāti Paula. Um, and so we've got um, so much rich kōrero, whakapapa, um, you know, Joe's writing amazing haka, uh, waiata, um, you know, we've got our whaimaia team writing amazing and teaching amazing kapa, uh, uh, waiata and, and haka as well. And so, um, you know, that's really what we need to ramp up, and we are. Um, is, is having all of these kōrero, uh, people understanding, feeling it, um, and, and finding their place in their role, and um, I, I, I think it's really happening. Yeah. Um, evidenced by those amazing hanghaui we had uh, mm. hosting uh, Maru mm. really on show, mm. it was awesome, yeah. with really good quality. Yeah. yeah. Ka Awesome, tēnā kōrua. Okay, well uh, now Fano, we are going to head into a bit of a, an ad break and um, so yeah, mā takitaki mai. <laughs> No mai hoki mai e te whānau. So we hope that um, some of the whānau out there have um, put through your nominations for the Ngāti Whātua Orake Awards. You know, we've got some amazing whānau out there um, doing a lot of awesome mahi, um, whether it's cultural, within the community, hākina kina, um, our whānau are doing awesome. So we hope that um, we really encourage you to nominate our whānau so that we're able to celebrate them all together. Mm. Ka pai whanau, so no mai hoki mai, our um, next kaupapa um, tonight is going to be around the Anglican Church. Um, we've we've previous, previously shared information um, around this kaupapa, um, so yeah, I guess, yeah, marama, can you please give me some background um, regarding uh, the relationship with the church or this kaupapa? Kia ora, uh, Monique. Um, yeah, look, the relationship that we have with the Anglican Church goes, goes back many, many, many years. Uh, back to um, uh, Apihai, to our tūpuna, to his days. And, um, you know, uh, a lot of us, um, if we weren't, you know, baptised in, under the, under the Ratana um, hāhi, uh, a lot of us ended up in, as as uh, baptised as or confirmed as Anglicans. And so we've always had a very um, a strong relationship with the church. However, uh, there, is a, there is a lot of mamai uh, that we have, and um, you'll know that we've got a four-acre section up on Rautara Street. Uh, there's a urupa mm. still there um, that has been a, um, a point of contention uh, with the church uh, they did come to us uh, in the 1990s. I can't remember the exact year. I think it was 96? 91. Oh, yeah, earlier. They did come to Morake uh, to offer 
uh, a um, some sort of compensation to us, uh, which was um, which was declined or rejected by our komata of that time. And so, you know, they um, they are. They are wanting to re-engage with us. They are genuine about wanting to um, resolve the mamai with Ngāti Whātawarake. And so, um, you know, we're, we're, we're having those discussions and we're, we're moving forward uh, with it. Um, and of course, you know, the, the Rautara Street um, property or, you know, the four acres that were up there uh, is one thing that we are um, uh, uh, discussing with them mm. on how we can, you know, how we can um, uplift uh, the mana of the Uru Party because at the moment I uh, know no whānau have been up there. Mm. Uh, I know we used to walk past it all the time, but um, it's not in a good state, but we need to do something about it and, you know, um, uh, acknowledge our. our so yeah, our, our discussions are ongoing. Kāpai. Did you have anything to add now? Uh, yeah, probably. Um, uh, I, I remember back in the late 90s, um, Sir Hugh saying to me that we had un, unfinished business with the Anglican Church. Mm. And um, uh, so we are working through that in a really positive manner that I can see with the, the bishop um, and the church representatives. Um, and it concerns the, you know, um, as I was told, we had the village down the bottom and we had the village up top. And so there used to be the, the up top village at, at, at Rautara. Um, actually, and, and again, in terms of our protecting our rohe, um, even that's under claim. Uh, mm -hmm. Kaurawa <laughs> are making noises about that being theirs. Um, you know, and the history says, yeah, we had Kaurawa Maki people living there with us, amongst us, mm. um, which is a bit different from it being theirs. So um, so that's around the Bautara uh, area, there was a couple of kāinga there, um, and uh, Takawa in terms of establishing and building a relationship with the Mihimari um, was to uh, Tuku, um, mm. a four acre block around the, the Rautara, Rautara area. So um, it, as you've mentioned, we, we have laid this all out on the uh, our comms previously, mm. um, that, that, that kōrero. Um, which the church, in the end, um, that four-acre block, um, sold it to the crown, and that's been the source of of the mamai. And you know, the pe our people were evicted from the village, um, etc. And you know, um, that, that's a part of our history that is still um, a bit of a nowhere. Mm. Um, but we are um, meeting the Anglican Church representatives. We we're very confident that we can um, arrive at a uh, a meaningful um, resolution of all of that all of those um, uh, nowhere that we have and, and set up a really good relationship um, for the future. Yeah. Um, and in particular, you know, there's the other uh, block that we um, have always been thinking about and looking at, uh, you know, from our, our, our Pātū Watuata, <laughs> that's across that Tauraru, um at, at the Queen Vic site. Yeah. Mm. You know, that's part of the 3,000 uh, tuku that uh, Abihai gave to Hobson. Mm. And, um, you know, we'd, we'd hope that we can come to some agreement yeah. over the future of that, that site as well. Mm. Ka pai. Well, Fano, I hope that that's um, answered uh, your pātai uh, relating to Anglican Church Kaupapa because we know that um, you know you wanted to be informed on, on that kōrero, so um, tēnā kōrua. Well, Fano, we're um, coming to the end, but um, I guess one of the, our final kaupapa for tonight is uh, really around um, the blessings, actually some awesome mahi that um, has been done uh, by a lot of our whānau and has been done by, by our kaumātua and queer long before I was even born, you know. So um, we'd just really like to acknowledge all of those people and all of the po. Um, mm. And, you know, your, your, your mahi does not go unnoticed and um, we appreciate it. Um, I guess, you know, with, given the political environment that we've just uh, discussed tonight um, and our manatamaki strategy, uh, we are all working collectively, you know, working really, really hard um, and working together as these pictures are showing you. Um, you know, we are stronger together than we are apart. 
And um, I just want to encourage all of our whānau, if you are interested in you know, participating in, in these um, blessings, we would love to have you stand with us. Um, it is not just about us now, but it's about our future. And um, yeah, we just want to acknowledge everyone. Uh, we have blessings um, probably at least three times a week minimum. Sometimes we have three minimum. minimum. <laughs> Sometimes we have three in one day. So um, the more soldiers on the ground, the better. And um, you know, I think creating more wānanga, um, more wānanga to be able to share this kind of kōrero so that you're able to stand strong and stand proud um, alongside all of us. Um, yes, but um, was there anything you, you'd like to say in regards to the blessings and any mahi oh, that's been done? Uh, just here to talk to kōrero you know, um, again, um, our whānau, you know, uh, we can't do this alone. Uh, and we need you. We need you um, to have our backs. We need you to be there to totoko because at the end of the day, this is the legacy that we will be handing over to our tamariki and to our mokopuna. And we want them to be able to look back and be sitting in, 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 in positions like this uh, and, and working for us and looking back and saying, yep, my korongari mu, my nani monique, and my nanny marama, they paved the way for us. And so this is not about any individuals wanting to run off and just do things. This is about us moving as an iwi and as a whānau. So uh, to our kaumātua, um, who are always making themselves available to go out and put our footprint across Auckland Central, across Tamaki, um, e mihi nui, uh, um, I just love you all and to I just want to also just thank Monique, our beautiful um, Monique, uh, who is our up-and-coming marekura. Um, she looks after them alongside our other whānau, um, but I want to thank you for tonight oh and for, for being uh, such a wonderful facilitator of our uh, webinar and also all of our um, kaima here in the background. You can't see them, but we can, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call them. We've got Keila, we've got Dave, uh, Te Amu Haere, Jamie and Natasha. So, uh, e mihi atu, kia koutou katoa. Kia ora whānau. Kia ora. Nga re mui, final comments? Oh, kei o mātou te ringa uh, kaha ki te uh, tautou te muro o te ahi. Um, mm. so, the yahika is, is our responsibility, and, and that is it is not about litigation. It is not about going to big flash meetings. It is it is it is about us just being us, which is uh, moving across our landscape, across our former past sites, across our uh, our, our waterways, uh, going out onto the harbour as you know on the waka ama. Um, it, it's going fishing. It's all of those things. And yes, it is being our kamohi. Um, in our whenua. So there are a lot of a lot of iwi who are um, claiming to be on our whenua, and they use that word very, very loosely. Um, but it's only us who are there at four in the morning uh, because we know it, it's the right thing to do. It's our obligation. It's, our, it's not only our birthright, it's our job um, that we... And um, the more and more of us that do it um, and, and just live our daily lives here in Tamaki, it's not only a tupidity. You know, people see that. We, that people see that from our people. They know. They know there's a difference between us and the other pretenders. So, just encourage all farmers to get involved. Just live good lives. Mm, yeah. uh, go to the sports club. You know, um, you know play the netball. <laughs> yeah, all of that. Yep. Uh, you know, just just be us. Kia ora. Kia ora. Tēnā kōrua. Well, Fano, um, as we wrap up. I just wanted to send a reminder out to you, to you all. Uh, we have the AGM coming up um, on Sunday, the 29th of November uh, at Orake Marae. So uh, we look forward to seeing you there. Um, and if you can't um, come a tinana, um, there's also a connection via Zoom. So uh, we will ensure that we get our comms out to you. Um, so just keep an eye on the Facebook, on your... Um, text messages, your email, pānui, the e-pānui, uh, we will be in contact with you, whānau. 
So, um, yeah, I just want to wrap up and uh, thank both of our leaders here uh, for all your mahi, um, all your mahi that uh, you do in the background that a lot of our whānau do not see, the late night hui's, um, you know, in the, you wake up at 4 a.m., you don't get back till, you know, you work the 12-hour shift and, you know, so we all see the mahi that you both do too. So, tēnē te mahi, kia kōrua. Nō reira e te whānau. That's us. Uh, we hope that you've enjoyed this kaupapa. Uh, we hope that you are fully informed, um, you've been fully informed, and uh, we look forward to seeing you at the AGM. Uh, po marie. Po marie,